Hello, Mataji, and you're watching Notice Express on Honorable TV. Nagaland's Minister for Public Works Department, Road and Bridges, G. Kaito Ae, has asserted that the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party is returning to power. The minister gave the statement on the sidelines of a sporting event of the Sumi Games and Sports Association scheduled for April 2 to the 10th in Shukavi village of Chumukidima. I told Hornbill TV that the NDPP is winning. If NDPP loses the election, Nagaland will be in opposition seat and that the state cannot afford to be in opposition. A reporter has the details. Let's have a look. Aro aji yare aya do yare sumi sports even yare shukovi village te thakiyase. Itu nishna horn bill TV pra yare paryatak ahiya din de itia Lok Sabha election ahi bolle thakiya laupor rot and bridges laga minister G kaito aye ke kotha guru. The NDPP is going to be holding a mass rally across five districts in Nagaland, sir. Can you please elaborate on about the election? Yes, sir. Yes. We are sure winning. People are with us, and the 60 is fighting for the lone seat, which will represent Nagaland to the. Lok Sabha. If we fail to do that, we remain opposition. And Nagas cannot afford to remain in opposition. Right. The, the BJP-led government and Delhi is doing wonderful work for the nation where we should also have a participation. Right. Sir, so uh, it, you can confirm the fact that NDPP is going to hold rally across five districts in Nagaland, sir, because it's just up on news. Sir. Do you have any idea? Sure, NDPP is winning. It's coming back. We are requesting our NPO to join us. This is not our election. This is a nation's election. So we have to uh, ventilate who, who we are. If unless you cast your vote for your uh, choice, then the, 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 there's no verdict. What is the only verdict for the people? When it comes to the road construction, sir, one major issue was uh, the land holding system that was actually bearing uh, the constructions of uh, in a lot of places, sir. How is the issue going? Because the union uh, minister has actually cautioned the government on this, sir. Uh, that issue is a little hardly is going on, but we are taking up uh, the committee set up to see that uh, how to go ahead. But there is a provision only for the measures of their development. But otherwise, there's no land compensation. Sir, lastly, the names of the contractors being put up in signboards in the road, sir. How actively is it being practiced now in Nagaland, sir? We are trying to see that. I've just taken over. It's already one year, one, year, one month. Anyway, I could not uh, kick up, take off according to what I feel. We have lots of backlog. I'm trying to clear it within a few months' time and see that some improvement will be made. Itia gani man ho hon bil TV apne angi to for latest updates kan me ani thagi wo. Moi reporter ke kisi nyu ke ho with camera person Joy Watch for hon bil TV chumgiri ma. After the Congress Party criticized External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar's reaction on China's naming some places in Arunachal Pradesh, terming it as a weak response, Union Minister and PJP leader Kiran Rajuchu, while rejecting the activities of the Chinese government, said that the Chinese were very happy with the Congress government as they had a policy not to develop the border areas. However, now that Prime Minister Modi reversed the negative border policy, China is feeling uncomfortable that. As why that is why they are resorting to the unethical conduct. He also said that what Congress said was basically furthering the propaganda of China. China has given uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, names to some places in Arunachal Pradesh, but I don't understand why they are doing that. We are very upset and uh, we totally reject this kind of malicious activities conducted by the Chinese government. Our government from the external affairs ministry has uh, responded very appropriately. But what I feel is China is uh, very nervous because earlier these border areas were totally left underdeveloped during Congress time. And during Modiji's time, all major uh, highway, roads, bridges, all 4G networks, water supply, electricity, all basic amenities are being provided in the border areas. Especially in Arunachal Pradesh, which was neglected for so long. Chinese were very happy with Congress government because Congress had a policy not to develop the border areas. But Prime Minister Mojiji has reversed 
the negative border policy of the Congress party. So now, since the border areas are seeing the light of modern development, uh, China is uh, reacting to it. China is uh, feeling uncomfortable. They are raising objection why India is building so much of infrastructure in the border areas. So that is why they are resorting to this kind of unethical conducts. But this India is not the India during uh, Congress time. This is not the 1962 India. Under Modi's regime, India has emerged as a great power. And India will not create any problem. India will not intrude into other countries' internal matters. But if we are disturbed, then we will respond appropriately. So nothing to worry. People of Arunachal Pradesh are rock solid behind Prime Minister. And people of Arunachal are absolutely patriotic people. We are Indians and nobody can change our status. Sir, but uh, many uh, opposition parties uh, are saying that uh, government needs to change uh, its trial balloon diplomacy with uh, China. The Congress government and the Congress party, they have shown their track record. So what Congress says is basically uh, furthering the propaganda of China. So if you see Rahul Gandhi's language, he is exactly speaking the same language of the Chinese government. So Rahul Gandhi is working as a, uh, a propaganda agent of the Chinese government. So the Congress has no moral right or any moral standing to comment on border areas because they have uh, committed a sin uh, against uh, these border areas. They have left the border areas totally neglected and underdeveloped for the last 60 years. Modi ji has started the real developmental activities in the border areas. So the Congress party should better remain quiet, don't speak uh, the language of the Chinese government. So stay quiet because they have done enough damage to our border areas, border areas, as well as uh, the status of the The Sikkim Krantikari Mocha scam just has expelled one of its members, Ravi Chandra Rai, calling for anti-party activities. Rai, who held the position of coordinator seat cell of the party, was expelled on April 1 and his primary membership has also been revoked, which made his roles within the party null and void. Rai is reportedly set to contest Lok Sabha polls as an independent candidate. Sikkim Krantikari Morcha is led by Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang Gole, earlier the General Secretary Nari Shakti Pema Lamta, as well as the State General Secretary of the Nari Wing of the party, Pooja Sharma, tendered their resignations. To foster scientific curiosity and mathematical proficiency among students in the state, the Indian Institute of Technology of Guwahati, in collaboration with Samagra Shiksha Sam, organized a massive science and maths Olympiad, one of the largest in the country. More than 1.14 lakh students from 3,828 schools across Assam participated in this mega event, which aimed at nurturing talent, promoting critical thinking, and enhancing problem solving abilities among students in science, technology, engineering and mathematics subjects. Through a series of rigorous competitions and engaging activities, the participants were encouraged to delve into the fascinating realms of the STEM, STEAM subjects, expanding their knowledge, creativity and understanding. The objective of the Olympiad are to cultivate a culture of scientific inquiry and mathematical reasoning among school students, identifying and nurturing talented individuals in the fields of STEM subjects, providing a competitive platform for students to demonstrate their skills and abilities, raising awareness about the significance of STM education among students and educators and fostering innovation and critical thinking skills among students. The Olympiad comprised two phases, an OMR-based physical pen and paper test for secondary school students across the SAM, designed to assess their understanding and application of scientific and mathematical concepts, followed by a state-level ground. Assam police has arrested the owner of a Daba line hotel in Pongaikau district for putting up posters of pro Khalistan leaders and a prescribed Khalistan flag. The roadside Daba owned by one Gurmukh Singh had put up a hoarding 
of Sikh radical Jarnail Singh Bindradwala, which also had a poster of controversial rapper Sidhu Musiwala and a prescribed flag of Khalistan. Sources said members of Young Wing of PJP reported the matter to the police after which police acted. Police said they arrested Tanna Honor Gurmukh Singh Hells from Tan Taran district of Punjab, who was in Assam for years. It is being suspected that he displayed these posters in his Daba premises to attract truck drivers, a significant number of whom hail from Punjab. अभी उग्रवादी खत्म होने वाला है सब खत्म हो गया अभी सरकार ऐसा सरकार है ना वो आगे की कोई काम नहीं किया था ऐसा अभी खुलिए अभी खुलिए पहले अभी खुलिए अभी खुलिए प्लीज कुछ हम बोल रहे हैं प्लीज हम को अभी खुलिए अभी खुलिए अभी खुलिए अभी खुलिए आप आइए बिजनेस कीजिए हमको सपोर्ट है वेलकम बिजनेस कीजिए वेलकम लेकिन खालिस्तानी वाला सपोर्ट नहीं होगा हम आप हत्या नहीं करेंगे सोशियल मीडिया देखा पाई ये गोरईमार रोड किसान पाजाबी धाबा फटो लगवा नाम हल जार्नेल सिंह बिंद्रेवाला खालिस्तानी मिलिटेन्ट है और विषय आम निजे थ्यूजे देखी मानने समर्थन कर मानने बहुत मानने सन्दी चल सन्दी कम से बहुत नान नान विभिन्न भारतवर्ष विभिन्न ठाई सो य खालिस्तानी जो मानने चिंताधारा ये चिंताधारा तो आम विस्तार हम निद और जी बड़ी बेनार लगो आए ये आम आतरा दी दीसूँ एक क्षेत्र आरक्षी क्या अवगत करे निकी ना आम आरक्षी अवगत करसान ठाई गई पे अलरेडी सीतर बेनार भी लो आउटपोस्ट नहीं जमा कर Spokesperson of PJP Ashni Kumar has on Monday termed the allegation of former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi that the PJP government was an instigator of the present Manipur crisis as unfortunate. Ibobi has alleged the involvement of a hidden agenda in Manipur's current state. Ashni Kumar said such a statement was baseless and unacceptable and that PJP is committed to resolve the issue amicably understanding the current atmosphere of conflict and sentiment of people. Murai Ekdam Ashni Kumar was speaking at PJP head office. The PJP spokesperson pointed to the party's efforts in removing the Armed Forces Special Powers Act of SPA from most parts of the state, signaling a new era of hope, peace, prosperity and progress. He contrasted this with what he described as rampant corruption, extortion and mistreatment of Manipuri during the Congress regime. About a hidden agenda about the present conflict in Manipur is very unfortunate. This is false propaganda and try to mislead the people of innocent people of the state. The Bharatiya Janata Party strongly rejected his statement. His statement is very irresponsible and immature. Bharatiya Janata Party Manipur Pradesh is set up Sri Tiz Vasanta Singh, the retired IPS officer and the current Honorable Minister of Education and Legislative Affairs as well. Candidate from the Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency for 18 Lok Sabha elections, and we have very strong confidence that he is winning from this election with thumping majority under the leadership of our visionary Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji and our Honourable Union Home Minister Amit Shah ji and our respected National Person C J Panada ji and our dynamic Chief Minister Sri N B Narayan. Sensational weightlifter from Manipur, Saiko Mehta Paichanu has qualified for the Paris Olympics Games scheduled to be held from 26th of July to 11th of August. She qualified for Paris Olympics Games on Monday after coming third in IWF World Cup in 49kg Group P event at Phuket in Thailand. Chanu is making a comeback after a six-month-long injured lead off. Back from injury, she lifted a total of 184kg, 81kg plus 103kg to secure third place. Finish in the 49 kg category in Group B. She became the only weightlifter from the country to qualify for Paris Olympic Games. Reacting on her performance, Mirabai Chanu said she was leaving the competition feeling strong and confident. 
The rehabilitation was tough and demanding, but with the support of everyone, was able to push through all the complications in the last edition of Olympic Games held at Tokyo. Mirabai Chanu clinched silver medal and created history. Injuries may have put some doubt in the last few months. However, after her latest performance, she has again gained hope to emerge as one of the top medal contenders for the country. Amidst the controversy created by China after renaming some places in Arunachal Pradesh, Assam Chief Minister Manta Biswa Sarma responding to a question on China releasing another list of 30 geographical areas in Arunachal Pradesh said that the response from India should be tit for tat. He said for the 30 names China released, India should rename 60 areas from the Tibetan area of China. He also commented on the upcoming Lok Sabha election, said this election is to re-elect Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He said election is a formality, otherwise there is no need to conduct. Government, uh, my demand that uh, my request to the government of India that we should give 60 geographical names to the Tibetan area of China. So it should be always tit for tat, but I don't want to comment because it is a policy decision of government of India. But if they have named 30, we should name 60. This this election is to re-elect Prime Minister. People of India wants Prime Minister Narendra Modi to continue and lead India towards Amrit Kal. That is why this election is basically to re-elect Prime Minister Narendra Modi. I don't think there is any other issues in this election except people of India wants to elect Prime Minister. It is a formality. Every five years we have to vote. Otherwise, there was no need of even this election because people have already made up their mind to bless Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So it is just the election for the formality's sake only thing we have to try, apki bar sar sopar. That is the only thing we have to put effort. The Supreme Court on Tuesday directed the release of Amadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh on bail during the pendency of trial in a money laundering case related to the excise policy case. The top court passed down the ruling during a hearing on Singh's plea challenging his arrest and remand in the money laundering case. Enforcement Directorate informed the Apex Court that the agency had no objection to sign to Singh getting bail. Advocate of Sanjay Singh, Rishikesh Kumar, was speaking to media persons after the bail was granted, said that the most astonishing factor was that Sanjay Singh has been granted bail because the Enforcement Directorate of the ED did not argue their case at all and conceded on the bail because it was all apparent during the hearing and it was made clear by the judges before lunch that against Sanjay Singh there is no credible material. I have no objection in case the appellant stay over there before that leave granted. Sanjay Singh is released on bail during pendency of the proceedings arising out of what's a arising out of ECR stroke HIO dash two stroke fourteen stroke twenty twenty two. is shooting in respect of offence under sections 3 and 4 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002. Full stop. Next page. In view of the statement made, we allow the present appeal and direct to what one? To what one? We allow the present appeal and direct that the applet Dash Sanjay Singh will be released on bail during the pendency of the opposite trial on terms and conditions to be fixed by the trial court. So stop. Next paragraph. The that's all we need not mention. Not merits I have not canvassed my not okay. to certain merit. Uh, and this so this this is not to be cited as a precedent anywhere. Okay. We clarify. That the concession given in the court today would not be treated as a precedent 
in will not be treated as present. It will stop. Secondly, the the appellate Sanjay Singh will be entitled to continue with his political activities, undertake and continue with his political activities. However, the subject, however, that's all. Why should we? No, with, let's let's not be let's not be. If we do that, it will be another incentive for him to talk about it. But you have been gracious enough to say that. Uh, a sentence that is not required, but that you can. Okay, that sentence we will cut it. That last, last, last second part we'll cut it. Today, what happened in Sanjay Singh matter? Sanjay Singh matter today listed for the oh, argument, oh, oh. and uh, Sanjay Singh has been granted bail. And the most uh, astonishing factor that uh, Sanjay Singh has been granted bail because ED did not argue their case at all and conceded on the bail because it was all apparent during the hearing and it was made clear by the judges. Honorable judges has made it clear before lunch that the against Sanjay Singh, there is no credible material to make a case against him. So therefore, considering this, ED has given a concession. ED have ED has conceded before the court, and by conceding the concession, the Honorable Supreme Court has granted bail to Sanjay Singh. Singh was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate ED on October 4, 2023, in the money laundering case, citing his alleged role in framing and implementing the now scrapped daily excise policy. As per ED, the police policy was aimed at benefiting certain liquor manufacturers, wholesalers and retailers. A trial court had rejected Singh's bail plea on December 22. The Delhi High Court rejected his bail application on February 9 and he then moved the top court. Meanwhile, Singh's mother, Radhika Singh and AAP National Spokesperson Priyanka Kakar reacted to his bail announcement. <laughs> और सुप्रीम कोर्ट को बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद हां कि मेरे बेटे की आज रिहाई हो रही है हो गई है बहुत बहुत खुशी है दिल से खुश हैं हम तो मां हैं हम तो खुश होंगे ही और सब खुश हैं तो आपको पूरा विश्वास था कि उनको जमानत मिलेगी हमको पूरा एकदम आई होप्ड पूरा विश्वास था हमको कि मेरा बेटा तो निर्दोष है ईमानदार है उसको तो ले ही जाना नहीं था नहीं नहीं जाना था मगर ले गए तो अच्छी बात है लेकिन हां बेल मिल गई यार तो उतनी ही खुशी मिली है जितनी खुशी जितना दुख हमको मिला था उस दिन उतनी ही खुशी आज मिली है पर अभी भी शायद मुश्किलें कम नहीं हुई क्योंकि मुख्यमंत्री अभी भी जेल में हैं चलिए हो जाएगी कम हो जाएंगी मुश्किलें सब ऊपर वाले हैं जब इतना हो गया है तो अब मुश्किलें कम होगी ऐसी ऐसी बात नहीं है अब थोड़ा सा अब मुश्किल तो आदमी भगवान भी काट लिए तो मुश्किल काटना कोई वो नहीं बस मुश्किल टल जाए वो बहुत बड़ी बात है जिस दिन वो जेल में गए थे उस दिन भी आपके आंखों में आंसू थे आज भी आपके आंखों में आज आज खुशी के आंसू हैं ना आज तो इतने ही खुश हूं मैं कि खुशी के आंसू हैं आज अरे ये आज भगवान जी हमारे साथ हैं बजरंगबली हमारे साथ है सच की जीत हुई है हम तो शुरू से ही कह रहे थे कि ये पूरा का पूरा केस फर्जी है और भाजपा के दफ्तर में लिखा गया है करीब 500 रेड के बाद भी एक चवन्नी की रिकवरी नहीं हुई आज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने भी कहा जब मनी ट्रेल ही नहीं मिली तो हिरासत में रखने का क्या मतलब है हां पर मनी ट्रेल एक केस में जरूर मिली है जहां शरद रेड्डी ने भाजपा को 60 करोड़ दिया उसके अरेस्ट के बाद जिसके बाद वो सरकारी गवाह बना और जिसके बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को उसके बयान के आधार पर हिरासत में लिया गया तो क्या भाजपा अब जांच करेगी भाजपा के टॉप लीडर्स गिरफ्तार होंगे ये बहुत जरूरी है कि सवाल पूछा जाए तो आगे क्या उम्मीद है और जो लीडर्स जेल के अंदर हैं क्या उनको भी जेल मिल सकता है आप देखिएगा एक-एक करके इनका झूठ का ढेर कैसे अब बिखरेगा दो साल से हमारे ऊपर अनगिनत जांचें हो गई हैं दो साल से ही क्या जब से हम सत्ता में आए लगातार आम आदमी पार्टी के ऊपर जांचें होती हैं और हम अल्टीमेटली सब में क्लीन होते हैं अगर हम करप्ट होते तो भाजपा में शामिल होकर साफ हो जाते पर हम सच्चे लोग हैं ईमानदार लोग हैं हमारा एक-एक नेता कट्टर ईमानदार है और आज उसी बात का प्रमाण है थैंक यू मैम दैट्स ऑल वी हैव फॉर नाउ कीप वाचिंग हमबिल टीवी